Hey guys, it's me Drew and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, I have the 10 new fragrances for Scentsy for the Spring and Summer 2023 catalog. I'm so excited. I have not gotten my sniffer on these yet. They did just come a couple days ago, but just from the colors and the weather outside, I was like, I need to sit down and film this video. So without further ado, Let's get into it. I feel like over the past couple years, Scentsy has truly blown up on the internet. I mean, Scentsy has always been big, but over the last couple years, I think they've been hitting it out of the park with fragrances. I've talked about before, the scents just last for days. I'm melting one in my living room now. It's on day two, still going strong, still going great, and I'm obsessed. So I knew when the new fragrances came out, I wanted to pre-order the kit. That is one of the consultant perks for Scentsy is you are able to pre-order the fragrances ahead of time. Most collections now you're able to do, which is just awesome, but I was so excited to pick up the early releases, which will be released on March 1st. As always, I will leave my link down below. Obviously, no pressure to order. I'm just here to share my thoughts. Now, I have my laptop pulled up with the fragrance notes. I have not smelled these yet, but let's go ahead and get started. First, I want to go in alphabetical order because that's how they're released here. We have Bamboo Leaf. Nope. Let's try that again. We have Banana Leaf and Bamboo, obsessed with the color of this wax. It's like this really fun green color. I will show you my favorite bar color though. But this says, juicy white peach and banana leaf envelop aged bamboo and sheer mahogany. So it should be like a fruity, a little bit. Maho okay. Um, I pick up on the white peach. It's like a very, very light floral, nothing too crazy. Banana leaf and bamboo, yeah, I can see that like a very green, earthy, fresh, but the peach is like a very bright peach, not necessarily juicy. You know how like that Plumeria peach was like such a juicy peach, you felt like you needed a napkin for your chin because it was so juicy? This is not like that. This is definitely like a very fresh fruit peach. I don't get any mahogany really. Maybe it'll come out on warm, but I really like this. This is a very, very fresh green fragrance. So excited to try that one. That is banana leaf and bamboo. Next, we have Lake My Day. Now my family actually has a second home in Deep Creek, Maryland. So I always go to the lake house. So this scent I know is gonna be perfect for that house, Lake My Day. And the notes are refreshing lake waves to peaceful lap peacefully over crisp bergamot and fresh oak moss. So this is gonna be like a more masculine cologne. Oh yeah, definitely, I almost get like a black pepper note in here too. It's kind of like a very fresh take on masculine. This is gonna be a great bedroom scent. Not as watery and aquatic as I thought it would be with the name Lake My Day. It's definitely oak moss forward, bergamot. But you know how sometimes bergamot, the it's like a really rich, deep orange Italian citrus? can lean either really fruity bergamot or really cologne really masculine. This is definitely more like masculine bergamot. Interesting. I feel like just from the names alone, this collection is a lot more fresh than I was expecting. And this is definitely very fresh. So interesting. I'm not 100% sold on it yet, like my day. It definitely leans like masculine cologne. Next we have, this is the one I'm obsessed with the color and everything, Mango Matcha. Would you look at that bright, juicy orange color? I mean, if that doesn't scream spring, summer, I don't know what does. And Mango Matcha sounds delish. This is a mix of mango nectar and matcha sorbet topped with a slice of salted cucumber and a dash of pure sugar cane. Sounds delicious. Let's see. Oh my gosh, this smells like something. Oh my gosh, this smells like my favorite candle of all time. Pause. I have been holding on to this candle, and as you know, I'm not a summer boy. I definitely prefer fall and winter as far as seasons go, but I was like, this smells 
like this candle that I have been hoarding for so long. And this smells just like Caribbean salsa from Slatkin and Company. This is when candles were, are you ready? Are you ready for this? 1950. Oh, of course, everything is focused on the price. There we go, 1950. You guys never burned it. I've burned so many of these over the years though. It was my favorite. There are not even scent notes on here. And the burn time was 40 to 65 hours, like never anymore. This scent, it's so tropical, so juicy, so mango. And this is almost identical. The only thing that I would say is this leans a little bit like that matcha sorbet, which I love an iced matcha. I don't drink coffee. So when I do go to Starbucks, I do get an iced matcha latte. And this is what that leans towards to me. Like you get that very green matcha flavor, which to me matcha, like matcha lattes taste like vanilla ice cream. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. If this performs and smells on warm like this candle does, I'm gonna be in heaven. I'm so excited. Next up, we have Mountain Sunset. Now this is a fun color. This is like a light lavender purple. And this says, take in the view over wild bluebell and warm woods as coconut and golden amber fill the air. I don't think we've ever had a bluebell fragrance before. The only thing I've ever smelled bluebell in is from Joe Malone. They had a fragrance, Wild Bluebell, that was beautiful. Ah, oh, this is nice. This is nice. This is definitely a sweet floral fragrance. It's really pretty. It's girly. It's fresh. And I don't love coconut, but you can smell coconut in here, but it's not a coconut dominated fragrance. It's definitely that like warm woods and bluebell. Bluebell is like a bright blue flower that just, when you smell it, it just screams like fresh sheets, fresh clean, like fresh painted white living room, fresh like floor, everything fresh is what I think when I think of Bluebell. Even though it's not like laundry, it just smells so fresh and floral. It's really pretty. Mm. Okay, Sensi. We have so many winners and I haven't even gotten through all of them yet and the rest sound really yummy. Next we have Peace Lily Be With You, which I think is so pretty, such a fun name. It's just a plain white wax. And this says white peace lily and green apple harmonized with watery greens and a touch of vanilla. So love the fruity floral. You definitely get green apple in here. Definitely green apple with the floral and I'm not hating that. This is actually really pretty. This is definitely like Easter. Like I could definitely see melting this on Easter. It's very fresh, very green, very watery. And I think that hint of vanilla takes that like classic perfumey smell that a lot of people don't love and tones it down to make this a very company, like a company accepting fragrance. I feel like if you melted this like in your living room when you had company over, Everybody would be like, oh, it smells so good in here. It, did you just clean? Like, it just smells clean without being laundry. That just must be my theme for this spring and summer catalog. It smells clean. Yeah, it just smells like a very fresh clean without being, like, laundry. It's really pretty. And the green apple in here mixed with the floral is a winner. So that is Peace Lily be with you. Next up, we have raspberry hibiscus tea. And as you know, I am not a fan of winterberry apple tea from the fall and winter. I don't know why. It just like, it doesn't do anything for me. So when I saw this, I'm like, oh boy, is this going to be a winterberry apple tea 2.0? This says a warm cup of wild raspberry and hibiscus petals sweetened with a spoonful of elderberry sugar. Interesting. So a warm cup of wild raspberry. So it's warm. I would never say this was a tea fragrance. Does it smell like a refresher from Starbucks? No. Like those raspberry hibiscus teas? It's definitely my least favorite. It kind of just smells like a generic fruity fragrance, like a raspberry 
sugar scent. Like if this was called raspberry sugar, I would be like, yeah, it smells like raspberry sugar. So take that with what it's worth. It's not a favorite. Yeah, it's it's just a fruity, a fruity raspberry. Hmm, interesting, okay. That is raspberry hibiscus tea. Next, we have Soakin' Rays. Now, look at how bright and juicy this color is. I mean, talk about bright yellow. She's bright. Feel the sunshine as bright mandarin and orange flower bask in ocean air. Okay, so orange flower. So is this like neroli? Yes, this is like neroli. Orange flower, orange blossom, neroli, they're pretty interchangeable. A neroli blossom is an orange blossom which is a natural serotonin booster. I don't know if you knew that, but my lush days of working there, we were always taught that neroli or orange flower is a natural serotonin booster. And I can totally see this. So it's really, really pretty. Very fresh, very floral. If you like orange blossoms, if you like neroli, that definitely gives me that. The mandarin, I mean, I think that's just enhancing the orange of the orange blossom. And Ocean Air, this is really pretty. Honestly, I'm going to Vegas for my birthday and I was really thinking hard about what scent I wanna to bring to the hotel room to remember the trip. This will be my first time in Vegas. I've never been, but this might be it. This might be a contender, Soak in Rays. Next, I know this has been a controversial one because it's classified as bakery, and this is Sugar Blossom. Now, if you know me and my bakery love and heart, I love a good bakery and Sugar Blossom does not sell, sound bakery. Sugar dipped golden blossoms adorn a shimmering fusion of sugared citrus and vanilla. Definitely not, not bakery. Oh no, this is not, how did they even consider this a bakery? Is what I wanna know. This is a sugary citrus, golden blossoms. Mm. Yeah, it's like a, it smells like a Bath and Body Works floral body lotion. Like one of the scents that will come out in the summer that smells like everything else. That's what this smells like to me. Like a, just a fresh floral sugary scent. Definitely not bakery. Very interesting that they called this a bakery, but okay. Um, This is in the same category as raspberry hibiscus tea. I will melt it, but I'm not... It's just okay to me. It's nothing hits out of the park. We have Tropic Nectar. This is also a very fun color, like a bright, bright red. And this is Tropical Fruit Nectar. Gets even sweeter with coconut milk and golden agave. This is interesting. I don't necessarily think it's like... <sighs> yeah, it, it, it can be nectary. Like a very, 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 very sweet fruit juice, which is a nectar, like a pure fruit juice, like a very syrupy fruit. What fruit? I'm not sure. It doesn't tell me, but like I'm looking at like berries because it's a red color. Interesting. It's a very, very sweet, fruity scent. Okay. Mm. It's funny. I like the one side. And the other side like of the fragrances, I'm like, mm, it's okay. Yeah, it's like a syrupy, fruity fragrance. So that is Tropical Nectar. Oh, Tropic Nectar. Last but not least, we have Woodland Meadow. Now, Woodland Meadow says, Woodland wildflowers flourish beneath a beautiful forest canopy and an air of bergamot and amber. So again, we have bergamot. This is going to lean cologne. I don't know. Oh, absolutely. This smells just like my grandfather's aftershave. I remember when I was a little kid and I would like uh, go into my grandparents' um, medicine cabinet and I was like, ooh, aftershave. I'm gonna be like an adult and I'm gonna put aftershave on and then it burns like that scene in Home Alone. I feel like this captures the scene in Home Alone in a bar, like that scene right there. It just smells like aftershave to me, like a men's aftershave. Very interesting that they're leaning a lot more towards like more gender, like fragrances are not gendered and like whoever started that, like 
They caused a huge thing in the fragrance world where like men's fragrance and women's fragrance and it happens so fast and it's so hard to like take everybody's mindset off of. It's not that guys, like it's not gendered. Fragrance isn't gendered, but it's hard for our brains to understand that either. But this definitely smells like a men's aftershave, like marketed towards men's, men's aftershave with the bergamot, the amber, the forest canopy fragrance, so like a green fragrance. Yeah, definitely like a men's aftershave. This is okay. This will probably be like a bathroom or a bedroom fragrance for me. We'll see, I'm obsessed with the color. I love sage green. This is such a fun color. So that is Woodland Meadow. That was that. That was the 10 new fragrances for Scentsy coming to the catalog on March 1st. If I had to pick my three favorites, it would definitely be Peace Lily Be With You, Soakin' Rays, and Mango Matcha. I, I, this is going to be a toss-up on which one of these two bars comes to Vegas with me. I might end up bringing both and just doing them on different days because I am there for a week. So... Who knows? I'm definitely excited to pop these in the warmer and get started. I have my Easter collection coming. I have some luxury candle hauls down the path. I have so many things to film for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know, did you pick up this collection early? What do you think? If you're planning on ordering, which ones are you most excited for? I know I'm very excited for the March catalog to come out. There's so many warmers and fragrances that I want that I didn't get to try last year. And I still have a couple orders that I need to place in February because almost all the catalog is 10% off, which is awesome. But thank you all so much for watching. I will leave my Scentsy link down below. As always, make sure you're subscribed if you like this content. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world. You matter and be kind. Bye, guys.